Hey everybody, this is our friend 8-Bit here at Ask Floppy, Floppy's best friend, but she is not the world's biggest fan of getting her nails trimmed. And we posted a, a reel on Instagram a while back where everybody was kind of amazed at how well behaved she is, but the truth is she's not a big fan. So we're going to kind of run you through what we do with her and you can decide whether or not those tips help you. I'll warn you ahead of time, 8-Bit is a vocal bunny, so if you hear some grunting and whatnot out of her, her little mouth, that's just kind of her personality. She's a, a noisy bunny. So if you got here via the Instagram reel, you already know that the first thing I recommend is making sure that we have balance. And honestly, before you ever trim your bunny's nails, you might just want to practice this for a week or two. So I've got her firmly up against my overgrown belly and, and her feet very firmly underneath her. So you'll notice right now she's not fighting me because she feels balanced. Bunnies are not fans of being out of balance. So if you don't have this part right, she's gonna fight you the entire time. Your bunny's not gonna be happy with you. So practice this. If you can get it to the point where the bunny is stable, uh, you'll have better luck. Now I've got my, my left hand kind of underneath her, her front paws here and pressed up against her firmly but not harshly. And then her back, like I said, up against me and her feet firmly underneath her. So we can be ready to go. And we always do pets and loves along the way to let her know it's gonna be okay. But we're just gonna start one paw at a time. And you'll see right now she's trying to, initially anyway, she was trying to wrap her claws around me just a little bit, but she let go. I don't know, she's gonna... As soon as I say you let go, you stop letting go. Silly. All right, so you wanna kinda of push the fur back a little bit, and she might tense up a little bit like she is right now, but you can use your one finger to kinda of push out a little bit, and eventually she'll let off. So you want to get the whiter part of the nail. If you go back into the part that's a little grayer, that's gonna be the quick and you're going to hurt them. So less is more if you're not certain how much you're supposed to take, take less and work your way back over time. But what I do is I start by not clipping through, but right now I'm putting just a little bit of pressure. And if I'm back too far, 8-Bit's gonna let me know that I'm back too far because she'll pull back. But she's not pulling back right now, so I was able to clip. Then we'll go to the next nail. Same thing, I'm just putting a little bit of pressure but not enough to cut it, and we'll clip. Same thing here, put a little bit of pressure. I can clip. And then this one here, a little bit of pressure again, I can clip. Then as far as the dew claw goes, sometimes those need trimming, sometimes they don't. Our friend Floppy likes to just rip hers right out. She doesn't even hardly have them half the time because she's our rough and tumble bunny. There's a little bit we can trim on that one. And again, I put a little bit of pressure on it. She didn't flinch, so I knew I was okay. So I'm gonna position her now. Just, oh, stretchy. I know. Just a little bit this way. Let's see her feet are sliding out a little bit. So I'm gonna take a second and tuck them back in. Keep that balance going. I know, sweetie. We're gonna pull this paw out. And same thing as before. I'm just gonna get on the tip of it, put a little bit of pressure to make sure I'm okay. She didn't fight me, so we were good. Same thing here, clip a little bit off. Do this one. And then grab this one. And that one's actually okay. You were scratching at something, you got that one worn down. Okay, <laughs> so I'll give her a break a minute. I don't know if you can hear her, she's a little chatterbox at the moment. You can see it's not necessarily her favorite thing, if you can tell, but she's not fighting me either on it. And it, I think really the key comes down to balance and her trusting that I have her balanced well. And that's where I think you should practice before you ever even try to trim your bunny's nails. Uh, or if you have and they've fought you before, put the clippers aside and just work on making sure that they're balanced and happy with, with how they're standing. Hey, future 8-bit and bun dad here. One thing we forgot to mention was the actual tool. So 
if you're watching this on Ask Floppy, you will see in the blog portion that we have a link to these. And if you're watching on YouTube, we'll have a link down in the description as well. But one of the things that we see a lot of people talk about is how they trim their bunny's nails with scissors. That is a horrible idea. You need a tool that is meant to do the job because if you don't have the right one, you can actually crack the nail and damage the nail, and that's not what you're looking for either. So these guys are what we use. You can get them pretty inexpensively on places like Amazon, and again, you'll be able to find a link either right here on this blog page or in the description for the video. All right, let's try these back ones, shall we, sweetie? All right, so this is a little bit different. We're gonna have her the same way. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shift her so her weight is mostly on this left foot. And then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna kick it out like that. And interestingly enough, if you do this doot 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 thing, they'll leave it out for you. Don't ask me why, but it works with every bunny I've ever tried it on. And now while it's out there, the same thing as before, we're just gonna Oh, see she pulled back on me. That means that I was back too far. She felt that it was kind of pushing on the quick and she pulled back. So that taught me that was not the place to trim. So we'll do this one. Trim that off just a little bit. Her back ones don't need a whole ton done. Oop, yeah, see? Thank you for demonstrating. See, that showed me right there that she didn't like what I was doing, so I was back a little bit too far. Sometimes it's hard to tell, and that's why I put a little bit of pressure before I, before I actually snip, is she'll tell you that she's not happy with what you've done. You might notice as well when I trimmed that sometimes her paw would like flutter just a little bit. That's a, that's a normal response. It doesn't mean she's hurt. It's just normal nerve response. So we're going to tuck that foot back in. Now I'm gonna shift her weight onto that one and then pull this one out. Again, we just kind of dance it out a little bit and she'll leave it out there as long as she feels stable. If her weight is on this other foot, she'll do this happily. But if it's not and she's out of balance, she will fight you. And we're gonna get this one. You have to be careful sometimes too. That first one that I just did on this paw, she kind of pulled away from me. The reason why she pulled away from me is I actually pulled her hair a little bit. I didn't have it pulled back enough from the from the claw itself, from the nail itself. And that is it. Good job, sweetie. So that is how we trim nails. Again, just to review, I think it all comes down to balance, making sure that she's happy with her positioning and that her weight is distributed well. And then when you go to actually trim the nail, put just a little bit of pressure to make sure that you're not back too far. And if you are back too far, they will let you know. So if you enjoyed this video, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit all the buttons because this is, uh, this is a young channel and we could use your help. You know, we're here to help you have a better relationship with your bunny rabbit, the best relationship you can possibly have. And a lot of that comes from knowledge, tips, and tricks. So we like to share where we can. But yeah, do us a favor, like, subscribe, share the video with your friends. And until the next time we see you, bye.